Hey everyone, it is LaDonna with Happy Go Lowry's Creations and we are going to do this beautiful cardinal on a tray from Goodwill that I painted to look like old barn board. This is such a cute and pretty? fun project. Added a little bow to it and, and I'm actually just take... jazzed it up a little bit. Don't forget to follow. Please like I and share. Here. I don't like how his eye looks. To help my little algorithms. There we go. There we go, see? Now, we're gonna shut up all, oop, all these colors and we are gonna turn the glue gun on and we're going to put some uh, greens and stuff around here, too. Just get these all shut up. And then we're going to add just some cute little greens. So, um... I think we want to do more down here. So we're going to get our little wire clippers. You know, I could do like this all the way, but I don't think so. I think I just maybe want... I'm going to look this way first. And you could actually do like, have it more dimensional if you wanted. So you could do it like that. What I was thinking before was done like this and maybe put a bow down here. I don't know now. I almost like it. Like he's almost like sitting on it. And then we could put Do we want some of the super berries maybe. I love that these berries you can just kind of pull off. And let's see what we have in this goodie basket. Doctor likes to eat on these things, so I have to change how I have them done. Oh, we might put some of these cute, pretty flowers on there too. But yeah, he likes these to chew on, and then he gets sick. Look at these colors, y'all! Aren't those beautiful? Oh my gosh! I know these are not traditional Christmas colors, this teal, but I think it's beautiful. I do. And of course, I like the eucalyptus too. So, and then we could get a pretty white one. These are just from the Dollar Tree. So, we are going to kind of see. Oh, yeah, see, I like those in there. We might need another piece like up here. Just to have it. Yeah. 
Sometimes you got to get your wire nippers just right. And just put it in there. Now, would any of these look cute with this? Oh, I don't think so. I think these take away. But, maybe we'll see what a... Oh, these ones might look good on there. And then I'm going to have glitter everywhere again. Whoops, like on the floor where the doctor walks by. And he goes in by Jason. And Jason can just kind of see some of the flickering. Oh, yeah. Of the glitter on him. Okay, so we're just going to move this off to the side. Because I need a little room to get the glue gun. Because I don't have one of those cordless glue gun shot. Ouch. That'll be on my wish list someday. But you know what? These work just as good. You know what? I don't have to. Yeah, Tracy, you should see him. That cat comes in and he rubs on certain ones, pictures that I have in here. And then he gets glitter on him. Okay, so we're first going to glue... Move it. And we're just going to put, move it up just a hair so we can get those in there. Now, if you want to glitter, and if you have glitter, make sure you have enough glue that the glitter can, it can get it, it won't fall off of just the glitter. Um, get on there. Mm, where's my little finger things? Remember, you see, y'all, they, they really do help. Then, then you're not burning yourself. Because let me tell you, hot glue guns do get really hot. And they are not nice when they burn you. See, now you can kind of just see that little bit of that underneath there as well. And if you wanted, you could take that transfer before you put these on. You can move that green all the way around there to make him look like he has, you know, a bigger one. But we don't want to, like, cover up his tail or anything. I think we're just going to put a little one right here. I know it's covering up some of the green that we did, but it'll it'll be okay. This one is too long, though. He's got, got a haircut. Get it in the right spot, Donna. Come on. Done. Watch your fingers. Because when that stuff says we're hot and we're ready... It is hot and ready. Now we're going to trim this down a little bit so that it'll sit better. Yeah. And then we're going to take, we're going to pull these apart. And we're just going to have like slivers of this. So we're going to kind of drag it in that glue a little. Yeep, yeep, yeep. There we go. I love using hot glue, but I really hate all the stringy parts from hot glue. And you're supposed to be able to take like a hair dryer and go on like and blow them off. But. I normally don't. I just don't. Jason is supposed to go next week and have surgery again on his eye. 
So we were at the doctor's today, but his blood pressure was way high. So we need to work on getting his blood pressure down so he can have this eye surgery. You know what? I think I'm just going to cut this whole thing right off. Come on, you. What do you guys think so far? Now I just have to decide if I should put a ribbon on it or leave a ribbon off. Just a little bit so it comes up over and covers some of that stuff there. So we're going to move glue gun for a minute so it doesn't drip all over my desk. And I almost think, look at, can you see all the glitter on my shirt, you guys? Holy man, do I have the glitter. I have the glitter. Now, y'all know too, hey, Alicia, when you don't want to see the comments, just swipe them. So this is what we have so far. But I think he's missing something like a bow or even a ribbon to hang him. I'm not quite sure. So let's look in our, our Christmas ribbon one and see. We have some red, some silver, We got gnomes. So we have some like this. So what do you guys think? Tell me what you guys think. So it's like this. But should we do like, I'm just going to fold this into a quick little one and see. Do we want to do... You know, I'd make a decent bowl, but I just kind of want to show you. What do you, what do we think? Just take that off and make it so much easier. So do we want, like, a, a ribbon up here with accents of red in it? Do we want... Like a bow down here. I almost think up here. What do you guys think? If you guys think that we should put a bow up on the top, give me a number one. Throw me a number one, okay? I see someone said pretty, but do you think I can make it go up to that comment? There we go. Hey, Dawn, how are you? Hey, Carol, how, Carol H., how are you feeling? So what do you guys think? Put a ribbon up at the top, or should we have like a ribbon on the bottom? My I think it's sticking like crazy. Because I could do like little ones too. 
And if I don't put any ones with words on it, I could do like something like this too. So let's see. Start with this one to see first. I'm just going to have glitter everywhere, y'all. Gotta get this thing off because I can't make bows with them on. And I don't make, I, I think I need that bow maker to do a great bow. But if we turn this and we turn this a little bit, I want to kind of get a thought from you guys. So this is a little bit better looking. So put one up here with some red in it. Tracy says down on the bottom. So we are going to figure out which one a bow that big. Let's do a little bit smaller bow. Okay, so when you're doing some of these bows, where's my other scissors? Okay. You can do cheater ones. And you can just do it like this and then, hey Melissa, and you cheat and make bows like this, okay? So then, Put the finger protector back on. Now, don't forget to, um, we do have right now that if you spend um, $100 on transverse chalk surfaces that you will get free shipping. It's a little hot. Okay. So we're going to put this here. And then we're going to do some red. I like this one but I also have red like this and like this as well oh sorry this way too keen keen yeah I just don't think this would be that right one that we want hey miss Kate how are you so we might do oh, I kind of like that in there though I should have just did the easy bow. You know what? We're go I think we're just going to do the easy bows. <laughs> so we're going to cut that right back off. So easy bows are like this, y'all. So we're going to see how far do we want that. Cut that puppy right in half. We're going to put it there. And we're going to do this. And you guys, if you want this, booyah, that is still in um, the back office through tonight, I do believe. Then we're going to do this one. I hate these. I need to find something to hold on my ribbons. I don't know. I was thinking about like, um, like a paper towel holder or something that I could stick to the side of my my desk, but I just don't know. Those are you that are 
crafters of any type or bakers, you know sometimes it just, it helps to have all your stuff where you can see it and not that you have to dig in like half a million drawers to see what you have. Because then I don't know what surfaces I have. I don't know like the ribbons that I have. I'm going to make this two and then one big one, I think, in the back. Because this will pick up on the shimmer that's in his as well. Um, we're going to do one thing of the big one. I definitely need some more just plain red. Woo! I almost threw that on the blue gun. That would not have been good, y'all. So, I'm going to put this here on top of all the 400 pounds of glitter on my desk. So, if any of you, hey, part of, if any of you ever want to get me something, just joking. Um, one of those little, little vacs. We used to have like dust busters all the time. And I can't find one. But I need something to get all this glitter off my desk. So like I said, it gets brushed off on the floor. And poor doctor is left wearing tons of glitter. <laughs> Silver maybe in the back. This is a problem for me. It's like, when do you stop? And then we're just going to do one little silver, I think. Okay. So then you just put them all kind of like together. Get on there, you little bad thing. And if they have the wire in them, just squish them. Like all together. So you go and squish them. I don't use a zip tie, y'all. I just take leftover jute that I used for something. And then you all tell me, top or bottom. And I'll put some berries in the middle of it too, like that. And some of that spriggy stuff, but we'll get this part first. And then you cut this, and then you cut this. Oh, don't cut the knot, Donna. Okay, and then you can just like fluff this. And it helps if you make the noises too when you're fluffing. It really does. I'm just telling you. And if you need to like, um, trim it or anything. Once you get like everything, all the fluffing figured out, you can go back and trim anything. But I kind of wait until I get it all fluffed. And this is why it's great to have some of the wire ribbons because then it'll help hold it up and everything, okay? You guys can't probably see, but right here, huge coating. Okay, so do we like it up? Or do we like it on the bottom? I don't know. I like it in both places. So you guys need to help me because this is why I ask for your help because sometimes I can't figure it out. And it's like when I do my Christmas tree. I'll do it and I'll end up taking it all off and redoing it. Because I can't decide. That piece in there. And this is a smaller piece. Oh, I need my little finger holder on. Hold it in that glue. Woo! Yep, see, we just want it showing that little bit. Okay. There we go. We're going to take another one of those bigger pieces. I wonder if I can do this instead. 
It needs just a little bit more of this stuff. Sometimes it's easier to cut with the scissors and other times not. So tell me, top, bottom, what do y'all think? Y'all just tell me. I think I like this one. Come on, a little bit off this way. Oh, that glue shot out the tape. Done. Oh, I wanted to get on there. Whew, let me tell you, oh, that's hotter than Hades. Instead of having it straight down, we're just going to turn it at an angle here. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to see if I can see any of your comments again. Top, top, bottom. Almost like it more on the top. That is me. Stuff is not state as well as it should be. Right now. Put it right here. Make sure we can see that other little piece. Move the glue gun a little bit. And then We need to trim and fluff. Okay, trim and fluff. Piece of red. There you go. Back up to the top where you belong. And then, do we want a little green? Oh, we want a little green up in here too. A little bit. You know, sometimes just a little dab will do you. Two of those together. Yeah, yeah. We'll do that. Okay. So, put this little piece right here. Put that there. And. The 
doesn't lay right. Put a little dab of glue underneath there and force it to do what you want it to do. Sometimes that's what you have to do. So what do you guys think? Yes or no? Yeah, here. What do you guys think? I want this to kind of like come down a little bit because then it's kind of like it's the tail of the of the, rip, the bow a little bit. So what do you think? Yes or no? Do you guys like? You guys like that? Look at so much glitter. I got glitter all over me now. So there you guys go. A little cardinal. Now I could put its feet back on it. But this one I think I might just do a little ribbon on the back to hold it so that you guys could hang it. Or you could put it on... I can find it in my messy desk here. I can get one of the little plants plate holders and prop it up. There you go. So what do you guys think? Well, there you guys go. It is already eight o'clock, y'all. I need to go check on Jason and give him his other dose of meds. And we will chitty chat with y'all later. Don't forget, my name is LaDonna with Happy Go Lowry's Creations. Please go like my reels. Don't just go through and hit like, like, like. Watch it a little bit or I'll get shadow banned. So, hope that you guys like this project tonight. Um, I'm going to show you different ways to use this cardinal. Because like I said, the cardinals, to me, signify when like my late husband comes to visit me. That's what I think. And it makes my heart happy then. Y'all have a great night, and I'll chitty chat with you all later. Hey, Susan, how are you doing tonight? Hey, Parma, how are you? Don't forget, you can always watch the replay, and if you want any of these products, um, you can send me a message and I can put them in a cart link for you to make it easier. Or you can just go to my site and I can uh, link my site in the comments. If I link it up above, Facebook doesn't like it. So y'all have a great night. And don't forget the thing that you can do to help me the most is just every time you see me on, click like the heart and just say hi. Because every time you guys comment, Facebook will push it out to more than 25 of my friends. So thank you very much. Again, my name is LaDonna. Happy Halloween. And I will talk to you all later. Bye now.